hello guys it's mr programmer here and in this video we will make a sliding panel in c sharp win form so let's get started i created a project co called sliding panel and right now it's empty so what we i will do is i will go to my toolbox and search for a panel and drag and drop it to my form and I, under the properties of this panel i will change the dock to right and the back color to something like a purple or a blue so let's change this color i think it's okay now change the size of this panel and the size of the form as you want so this panel will work as a sidebar something like in visual studio now what i will do i will go back to my toolbox again and drag and drop another panel so this will be our some toolbox or our panel which will be sliding so now change the dock to right and the back color to white and as you want you can change the size also now save this stuff go back to toolbox again drag and drop for a timer uh, this timer will update our panel or give or you can say that it will give you the animation of the sliding now go back to the toolbox again and drag and drop for a button in our sidebar and change the dock to top and change the height also so now under the text change this to something like height with a line space in every character all a line break in every character now what i will do is i will click on the form and go to the view code and we will declare some variables first an integer of the toolbox width or your panel width let's call it as a panel width and a boolean value hided that will handle our if our panel is hide it then it will be true and if our panel is showing then it is false so go back to your form1.cs design and double click on this hide it button to go to the button click event and come back to your form1.cs design and double click on the timer to go to the timer tick event now below the initialize component or under your constructor right like pw is equal to so we'll come back to your form1.cs let's rename this panel so that we can understand easily which panel we are using so let's uh, rename this panel as s panel or you can say that sliding panel come back to your form1.cs and panel width is equal to s panel dot width and the uh, hide it is okay hide it equal to false because right now it's showing now go back to your button oh, go inside to your button one click event and inside this we will write if hide it then button one dot text should be equal to the hide and after every character use the line break or you can call slash n and else button one dot text should be equal to the show and similarly we will use a line break after every character save this stuff and under this else we will write timer one dot start to start the timer and come inside your timer tick event inside this we will write if hide it and an else statement also now inside the hide it we will write toolbox oh sorry it is our s panel s panel dot width equal to s panel dot width plus by 20 incremented by the 20 and change the and use another if condition that if the s panel dot width is greater than or equal to the okay it's greater than equal to the um, panel width then timer should be stopped and 
and hide it is also false and this dot refresh similarly come back to your uh, this else statement inside this we will write to uh, okay else s panel dot width equal to s panel dot width minus 20 so it will decrease by 20 and if our okay if statement and if our s panel dot width is less than or equal to the zero then then the timer should also stop timer dot stop and hide it equal to true and this dot refresh to refresh our form and let's test our application so when i click on the hide button it changed to show and my panel gets hided so when i click on the show button the text changes to hide and our panel is ready to display so let's change this panel color something like gray or now this is okay now let's test our application again now it will be more visible to see the panel so i click on hide and the panel gets hide and when i click on show my panel is shown so if i change the size of this form its height also changes now you can add a button to this panel also this panel will work as your toolbox let's test this and when i click on hide this button also gets hided and it makes our application much more cool and more easy to use so if you like this video hit on the like button and subscribe my channel for more programming videos and thank you for watching.